In a functioning democracy, is it common for the leader of the country to order the criminal justice system to retaliate against his political opponents? Uh, Mr. Conyers, I would say that it's, uh, uh, the Department of Justice can never be used to retaliate politically against opponents, and that would be wrong. I interpret that as no. You, you, the answer stands for itself, I guess. Here's another. Should the President of the United States make public comments that might influence a pending criminal investigation? Should it take great care in those issues? Could you, could you respond yes or no? Well, I don't know exactly the facts of what you're raising and what amounts to the concern you have. I would say it's improper to influence. Uh, uh, it would be a, a president cannot improperly influence a, an investigation. Okay. And uh, I have not been improperly influenced and would not be improperly influenced. The right. president speaks his mind. Yes, uh, he's uh, bold and direct about what he says. But, the people but, uh, elected him, but uh, we do our duty every day based on the law and the facts. Last night, sir, the assistant attorney general sent the chairman a letter suggesting that the Attorney General has directed senior federal prosecutors to uh, evaluate certain issues, like the sale of Uranium One in 2010. Now, at your confirmation hearing, you said, I believe the proper thing for me to do would be to recuse myself from any questions involving those kinds of investigations that involved Secretary Clinton and that uh, were raised during the campaign or to be otherwise connected uh, to it. Now, for my yes or no question, are you recused from investigations that involve Secretary Clinton? Mr. Chairman, uh, it's, I cannot answer that yes or no because under the policies of the Department of Justice, to announce recusal uh, in any investigation would reveal the existence of that investigation. Mm -hmm. And the top ethics officials have advised me I should not do so.